I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna go through a couple apps that I've been getting a lot of like personal use out of. Uh, full disclosure, this app developer has been sponsoring the podcast. They didn't ask me to make this video, but like I said, I've been using these apps a lot, and I figured they would be fun to share. There might be someone else that will, you know, get something out of them the way that I'm getting something out of them. I feel like I'm advancing as a player. I might even be practicing because of these apps. That's crazy, right? I'm learning things. I'm legitimately learning things because of these apps. Uh, this is the Guitar Jam Tracks app. There's three other apps here, uh, the Modal Buddy, the Lick Master, and the Drum Beats, but we'll start with the Jam Tracks. This is a very simple app. It gives you a bunch of different keys to select from, a bunch of different styles to select from. There's blues, garage rock, humbucker blues, both kinds of blues. There's jazz, which I was just playing in, modern rock, and reggae, and of course, random style, which randomizes those. And you can add more styles. There's like a marketplace where you can buy more. It also gives you all the chords that are used in the track and the scales to use in the track. It's fun. It's a really simple and fun little tool to jam around with. Let's, uh, let's pick a different style. You know what, let's randomize. Oh man, let's see if I can keep up with a randomized style. Humbucker Blues, how hard could it be, right? In E. Not hard at all. <laughs> it's just fun and easy. I've been I've been playing on the couch late at night a lot uh, after the kids go to bed. Ever since I got the uh, the Mustang Micro here, that's what I'm running through right now. Uh, I'm running the guitar through the Mustang Micro, which is connecting my phone to my headphones, which allows me to hear this track. So it's a very like kind of seamless sort of setup when I'm sitting on the couch. I plug this into my guitar. I plug my headphones into the Mustang Micro, and then I bring this app up on my phone, and I'm jamming along. It's just a really fun and easy way to practice. Let's get into some of the other apps. Let's do drum beats. So drum beats doesn't have, you know, like the full backing track. It's just a drum beat, but there's a ton of them. There are so many, hundreds, honestly hundreds. Oh man, it just keeps going. Okay, so once you get down into the territory where there's little crowns next to them, at 182 is when that starts. That is drum beats that are part of a more like premium purchase of this app. I don't know how much that costs, but the base app is uh, five bucks, I think. It's 15 bucks for all four. 181 different <laughs> drum beats. And they're all great too. The thing I really like to do with the drum beats app is the randomizer. I just hit the randomizer and try to jam to whatever pops up.
This is under the hit songs one section. I don't know what super stitches is supposed to be, but there's hit songs in here like Wonder Ball, <laughs> Walk This Walk, Why the Levee Breaks, <laughs> Paranoid Robot. I'm not even going to try. All the ones with the little uh, crown next to them, they give you a sample so that you can decide if you want to, you know, upgrade to the premium. The stars on the side allow you to mark favorites. So if you've got one that you always want to work with, here, halftime groove, added to favorites. Now it is under, okay, now it is under my favorites list. Also, something I really like is there's a lot of education in here. I'm not a drummer. I don't know a lot of like drumming terminology. When I've been in bands, I always have this like communication barrier between me and the drummer. You go through here and there's basic counts that you can learn. There's, where's the section? There it is. Essential rudiments. So you can go through all these various essential rudiments, figure out what they sound like, figure out how you would use them in a song. You say you're writing a song and you're using this app as the basis for your drum beats. Now you can tell your drummer, hey, I want a triple paradiddle. And if they don't know what that means, you know something that your drummer doesn't know and they're gonna feel ashamed. <laughs> what is a triple paradiddle? There you go. It's three paradiddles instead of, you know, two paradiddles, like you'd find in a standard boring double paradiddle. <laughs> now on to Modal Buddy. This is the one that's been the most surprising to me and the one that really pushed me over the edge into deciding to make this video. I wasn't expecting with these apps to actually advance my understanding of music theory. I am a well-known idiot when it comes to music theory. Go ahead and grab that clip and turn it into a GIF or something like that. But I'm, yeah, I'm very music theory challenged. The thing I say is, let me know when they're ready to call it music fact, and then I'll be interested. But this guided me. You can see I've got a green check mark through the vast majority of this. I haven't taken the quiz. I haven't taken the test yet, guys. But I did the whole lesson on modes, and I'm shocked to have new knowledge in my head. Like I've tried to look this stuff up before. I've tried to study it. After going through this, I actually went and sought out a bunch of videos trying to get more information, and there's just something about the way this app is organized the way that the information is presented that connects with me in a way that I can understand. I went and watched other videos. I tried to do reading and researching things after what I learned here, and it still all just flew right over my head. So I'm hoping that they continue to add to this app or maybe come out with another app that can continue my music theory education because there's something about the way they describe it that actually connected with me like i had like a vague idea of modes before using this app but now i feel like i i'm i've found the tip of the iceberg of beginning to understand modes like the thing that that blew my mind is when i realized that the 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 I've already been playing modes. I've already been playing those shapes. 
And you can take that scale that is the modes. It's not a scale. You can take the modes across the entire fretboard and they stay in the same place for a lot of keys. You change the key and it changes the mode. You don't change the position of the notes. Like, let's see. I don't even know how to explain it, but I feel like I understand it or I, I'm on the verge of understanding it, which has been somewhat upsetting for me. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm 20 something years, 25 something years into playing guitar. And now I'm just finally able to grasp this concept. But it, like, just like the other apps have something that you can play along with and jam to, super, super useful element to this app is the practice element. It gives you a player, it plays a little loop in the mode that you're in, and it shows you all the various positions. The Dorian mode, it's the same for all these modes. The Dorian mode in A is the exact same note positioning and shapes as the Ionian in G. This is the part that's been blowing my mind and I've been trying to wrap my head around it. Like clearly I, I, I'm i so new to theory that there's there's way too much to learn. And like I said, I go watch other videos and stuff like that. And it all just whoo, right over my head. But this app has, it's got my toe in the door. Like I feel like I have a fundamental building block in place for the start of maybe me understanding theory. Just cause I'm starting to get that concept, you know, this one's interesting. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to pronounce it either. There should be a pronunciation guide <laughs> so I can learn how to say this word. Uh, Phrygian? Phrygian? I don't know. But I've written songs in this mode. I've written a lot of songs for my band in this mode. And it was wild to hear this sound sample. But oh my gosh, I've been playing that. Like those are sounds that I like messing around with. <laughs> There's just a lot to work with there. And like I said, it's, it's knocked something loose in my brain where I feel like I'm more able, I'm more open to looking into theory now. 
and trying my best to understand it. Like I, I've, I've been able to understand a fragment of it. Maybe the rest will open up to me now that I'm thinking in different terms, that I've got an understanding of these shapes across the fretboard and how they relate to this, you know, do, re, mi sort of mentality towards melody and harmony and stuff like that. If anyone has any tips, any resources that they think would uh, connect with me, I'm all ears. Make suggestions in the comments. All right, one more app. This is the one I haven't spent a ton of time with. There's just like two packs of licks that you can learn here. Texas Treble's got 25 licks. Classic Rock has 25 licks. It's more of like a lesson, learn, you know, some some lead sort of things. Uh, it, the way it's structured is really intuitive. It goes a couple blocks at a time and you can select the block. So you can kind of just slow down and focus on one block at a time. I've only messed around with it a little bit. It seems to be pretty uh, intuitive. There's a lot to work with here. 25 different licks in two different styles. Jungle slashing. I wonder what this will sound like. I should probably go through these to learn some new licks. <laughs> honey money. What is honey money? Yeah, I should probably spend some more time in this app too, but the drum beats, the jam tracks, and especially the modal buddy have been doing things for me. They really have. These apps, plus being able to mess around with headphones with a product like the Mustang Micro has, has opened up a lot to me in the past couple of weeks. Ever since getting this and ever since getting the apps, like I feel like I'm picking up new tricks. I'm picking up new understanding. And you'd think that, you know, having a guitar channel would mean I have all this time to sit and play guitar and learn new things. And there's a lot of stuff that I don't know that I should know, but the reality is I spend most of my waking day editing video. I'm not playing guitar most of the day. I'm editing video. So to be able to have tools like this where I'm learning and progressing and actually practicing in my personal time when I'm sitting on the couch playing, it's been really fantastic. So anyways, thanks for watching this. Like I said, if anyone has any tips, resources that you think I would connect to as far as learning more theory, um, I've watched a bunch of videos over the past week or so, um, different channels that seem to think that they have a good way of explaining how different parts of theory work and the vast majority of them I just can't connect with. Like it, it always feels like when someone's explaining theory, they're explaining it to people that already know the things that they know. Like I need, I need sources of, of information that start off like talking to an idiot because that's what we're dealing with here. <laughs> like I need to start at the very beginning. Like when I jump into some video and like, hey, let's talk about modes. Like, and then they just start rattling off the names of complex chords that I've never played or heard of before. And I'm supposed to make some sort of connection between these various different modes and chords that they're referencing against each other. It's just like, it sounds like Greek to me. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like, leave me a rude and nasty comment. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked. Check out the links for this suite of apps here. And, uh, you know, if you want a cool tool <laughs> to jam along on the couch with, I really recommend the Mustang Micro and other things like it. I've got the Nux Mighty Plug all the, on the way in, so I'm going to be checking that out soon as well. All right. Bye, everybody.